Google Sheets is more for desktop, but having the mobile app is crucial as well to see and edit the data on the way. Today we'll explore the Sheets app and cover its essential features. Let's start with creating new sheets. There are multiple ways of creating them. In the Sheets app, this plus icon will open the option to create a blank or from a template. We'll pick the blank one. Here we go. Another way is from the Drive app. Inside a folder, click the plus button and then Sheets to create a blank sheet. Lastly, we can open a supported sheet from Google Drive and device storage by clicking here. Mobile doesn't offer an optimal viewing experience but still gives us enough idea about the data. We can rotate the phone to see more data. Simply zoom in and out if needed by pinching. Tap any cell to add data. You'll find a bar to type. This will switch between the keyboard and the numerical keys. Down the bottom are the formatting tools. We may move to the next and to the bottom cell with those buttons. To see all the formatting options, tap this A icon on the top. This will show the font, font size, alignment and more. We can actually autofill data on mobile. Find a cell to autofill. Then highlight the other cells. Then just tap on those cells again to see the option. Here we go. It works with numbers, sequences, dates and more. This plus button has a few purposes. First we can add a comment on the cell. Then every time you highlight it, it will show the view comments option. You can also add a link to this cell, so clicking it will go to that page. Then there is chart. For this, highlight some cells with values. Then choose this option. Sheets will create a chart. Adjusting the chart type and other details is possible. Once happy, click the check mark. The chart will be added. Tap on it and move it to a place wherever you like. To edit it, select it and then the pencil icon. Then is the image option to insert an image in this cell or over the cells. After that are the options to insert rows and columns. We can also add formulas thanks to its top row. The process is the same as on the desktop. Add the equal sign to the formula. We can do the basic calculations. To use the cells, just tap the cell you want to include. After the equal sign, we can add the formula as well. If you want to average those out, we can just type the average word and it will give me the related formulas. Then add the numbers or choose the cells to average them out. Another way is clicking this formula icon and then finding the formula. You will see all the formulas with the description if you are not sure about the one you need. One advanced feature Sheets has is creating conditional formatting. With those we can set the text formatting based on the value. Tap the A icon and then conditional formatting. First is the range to affect the area. Then is the formula to pick when this formatting will apply. It supports numbers, text and date. Suppose I pick greater than or equal to and set the value to 100. It will check all the cells in that range with over 100 value and apply the formatting we set. In custom we can bold text, italicize, change its colors and more. Now you will check the value every time you insert something. You can do more with it to organize your data. Like other Google Apps, we can share sheets with others. In fact, some of the sheets here are created by others. If a sheet is already shared, you will see a small icon here. To share a document, open it and then the top share. Here insert email addresses. By default, the access is restricted but can be changed from here if you like to have this sheet public. Once a name is added, you can set the role to editor, commenter or viewer. Add any message you would like that will go with the invitation. Then tap this button. The person will get an email with the access. They'll also see this sheet in their Google Sheets account. Now we'll cover some quick extra options such as deleting sheets, making them offline, etc. 
To delete a sheet, tap those three dots and then the last remove option. This sheet will be moved to bin and will be permanently deleted after 30 days. To make a sheet offline, tap the offline option. This file will automatically update every time new changes are available. When offline, you can go to the offline option here. Or simply open the sheet from the main screen to see it. Google Sheets is a different program than Excel, but still offers an option to convert a sheet to the Excel format. You can click here to save it. It won't make much of a difference, but uh, may fix any formatting and syntax issues while importing in Excel. You can tap here to switch it back to Google Sheets. We can start a sheet to access it quickly from the start page. Check this button and then every time you go to the start section in the main nav, you'll find those sheets. Many other options are available such as duplicating sheets, printing them, downloading them as PDF, adding a shortcut of the sheet to Google Drive, making files offline automatically and more. For this video, we covered the essential features. Thanks for watching. Please share your views below. Catch you in the next one. Take care.